Alan Hines here for um, the exotic XSC Alan Hines model, which I'm very proud they put my name with it. I mean, I'm, I don't really associate my name with many things I don't really believe in, uh, but I wanted to talk to you about some of the features this guitar has. Um, exotic kind of worked with me and they tried, they pretty much captured all the old traditional stuff I like about old Stratocasters and Telecasters in these guitars, but they also have a lot of new modern uh, designs on them that make it uh, really cool. This They started with the neck and uh, this one has a 12 inch radius neck which is like uh, some of my old Gibsons of course. It's a flatter radius so it's easier for legato. Uh, I'm not sure what size frets these are. I think they're like 6100s I guess. They're kind of thin and kind of high. They feel great. The neck is just a modern C profile um, and it, but the most important thing is made out of roasted maple. I noticed that with some of my old Stratocasters when I would take them on the road um, they didn't seem to move as much, the old ones. Uh, and newer guitars that I would take on the road would change with the climate. They would either dry out and then you'd feel the frets or the necks would twist a little bit. So um, what they did at Exotic, they made these roasted maple necks, which I thought at first was kind of a gimmick, um, but there's really something to it. It seems to make the guitars stronger, sturdier, um, less prone to movement or, uh, or climate problems. It's got locking tuning keys on it. It's got the radius I like. It's a, they don't make guitars that are too light or too heavy. So it's right in that weight uh, range, which I think is uh, the, the best for tone. They've got their own exotic uh, pickups, which I've, the guy Kiyoshi at Exotic really knows vintage guitars. So it, the pickups sound, I mean, you know, he's not just making stuff, buying Stumac bobbins and just winding stuff up. He's actually, you know, measures stuff and experiments with stuff until he gets it close to the original thing. So I really dig their um, uh, their humbucker pickups. So I've got the humbucker pickup in here and the single coil here. The middle one I had kind of disengaged. This is just for me because I never really used the middle pickup. And um, if I need an in-between kind of funky sound, I can um, get that pretty close just with the two pickups, with the front pickup and the, and the humbucker by itself. <laughs> And that's good enough for me. And really, most of the time when I'm playing, if you've ever seen me, I usually use either the front pickup, the uh, or that pure like Hendrixy um, Strat neck tone. Or I use the humbucker pickup. And actually, I use the humbucker quite often, even for rhythm stuff. At the end of the day, that's kind of how I judge um, uh, bridge pickups, or a guitar really for that matter. The first thing I do is turn on the bridge pickup and I open it all the way up, wide open the volume and tone, and if I can get a pleasant tone out of that sound, something I might like to do, like this is a finger picking with clean sound, then I know I'm in the, the, in the ballpark of, of a good sounding guitar and pickup. So check out the uh, exotic stuff. They're really high quality. I really believe in them. I don't uh, do this because I have to. I do this because I like the guitars. It's the exotic XSC AH model, but check it out. Have I said check it out enough? Check it out.